Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> it's time to paint again. Just coming back from a very fun weekend. My daughter got married this past weekend on Friday, and then we took Isabel back to college on Saturday. So it was bittersweet, but all good. Hi, Ellen. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hi, Susanna. Good morning. So here we are ready to paint. Hi, Anita. Hi, Terry. Hi, Annie and Scott. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hi, Shelly. So I ha got this new tube of paint. Good morning, Martha. It was good seeing you at Roots yesterday. So I got this great tube of paint called Amethyst. I love when I find something new that, that's a little bit different than in anything I've used before. So I'm going to use it in my painting today. So let me turn this around, show you what I'm working on. Hi, Laura. Hi, Ellen. <clears throat> let me turn this around. Okay. So I, I took this picture. I went to Roots, which is this little um, market right near where I live. It's only open on Tuesdays. And it is certainly a unique place. It's a, very different from the central market that I go to on Saturdays. And actually, when I was young, I worked for a meat and cheese place called Weaver's. I worked there from the time I was in like seventh grade until I graduated college, I think, or pretty close to it. And I worked at both the markets. I worked at Central Market and I worked at Roots, too. And anyway, so I took a few photos yesterday, and this is one of them of plums. I actually didn't buy the plums. Kind of wish I did, but I knew I wouldn't eat all of those. It's a whole different shopping experience now that Isabel's not home because we don't eat, eat as much food. I would probably need two plums, not a whole container of them. Okay. We also got a container of, I think they're called winter berries because um, they looked kind of fun. And my husband was going to make like a cocktail with them. Well, he did, but we bought a whole container of them and it reduced down when we boiled it off and made it into like a syrup, but probably was like three tablespoons. <laughs> it was a lot of work for, for, for very little. Anyway, back on task here. You know what I think I'm going to do? I just had this idea. I think I'm going to use this new color amethyst as my background. I'm just going to put that all over the background, and then that's how I'm going to start my painting. Sometimes I do a full, and this has so, um, like not, it's almost all the same color. It's very monochromatic, so this might be fun. Always fun to take risks and see what happens. So painting this is my whole background yep so now that I have a daughter married and one at college now I'm back in the um, flow of things for my last show we'll be at Rittenhouse Square the second weekend in September so I'm still working on stuff for that and I'm also going to be at Nepenthe Gallery in Alexandria um, I think the first week it's all on my website I think the first I should write and have notes here for myself the first week. I'll be there Thursday evening for like a meet and greet um, wine and cheese thing. And then I'm going to do a live painting demo on Friday morning there. So if um, any of you guys are in the area of Alexandria, Virginia, I'd love for you to come see me. Now I'm just using a paper towel to kind of wipe out where I'm at on everything. Hi, Michael. <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. I feel like it's been a whirlwind of a summer and like here we are getting towards the end of it and oh well and the wedding was so fun and so beautiful. Whenever you prepare for something like that, the time goes so quickly when it, when it actually happens. But it was good. And she married a wonderful guy and that's really all that matters. <clears throat> so I'm just marking out kind of where my things are. Um, yeah, I'm busy with a lot of art stuff. I have some commissions that I need to work on and um, a lot of fun things happening. 
This is very monochromatic. Thank you, Anita. Yeah, I posted. She got like teaser teaser photos from her photographer, um, who's a someone she knows that she went to high school with, I think, and she lives here in Lancaster. Her name's Aubrey Sanchez Photography. Her, she's just fabulous. She did such a great job. I can't wait to see all the photos. You know, it's funny to to think about how we have to, you know, wait and to be patient to, you know, see the wedding photos when the wedding was just last weekend. And like when I got married 100 years ago, we had to wait months to get our photos. Absolute months. <clears throat> Grapes, they're um, uh, plums. I always say when I'm tired, I lose my nouns. So mine have been really been missing lately. The other day, I, forgot, I couldn't think of a friend's name, like someone that I know really, really well, and her name just fell out of my mind. I, I hate when that happens. I always attribute it to having too much on my mind, but that's no excuse, really. I think I've glare on there. A little better. Hi, Irma. So I'm having my coffee this morning. It tastes amazing. What's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? Um, yeah, this. I think that I'm going to do pigment sticks and then mix colors. I think I'm. that's good for my base. I'm going to get my palette off here. Yeah, there are some mornings that I really appreciate coffee. It's the warmth. I already feel a little bit um, chilly, and it's still hot outside. I don't know why I feel chilly. So when did I talk to you guys last? Last Wednesday, before the wedding, before we took Izzy back to school. Isabel's doing her first clinicals today. She's in the nursing program at Duquesne, and she was on a bus bright and early this morning to go start doing clinicals, which is exciting for her. Good morning, Chris. T, and I'm also working on my... Oh, good. Glad you're working on your painting. So I'm still putting in... I'm just loving the pops of unexpected color, as I always do. So I'm kind of what I'm doing here. This is perfect for this. There's a little bit of the carton in the background here. A little bit down here and a little on this side. And so it'll be interesting to think about like these colors <clears throat> that are in the, um, that actually looks black. It'll be a little bit tricky because to think about what colors are in the plums, this color is like one of those colors you can't quite describe. It looks, it looks kind of blue. Whoops, I got some on my iPad. I always do that. It's like one of those non-descriptive colors and how to make it look like that very soft, um, kind of almost like an opaque, cool color. Like, I'm totally unsure how I'm going to make that. Just thinking out loud. I guess this is here. Okay. Um, yeah, there is red in here. I'll put this red in. Plums are so pretty, aren't they? I love anything where you can't quite tell what color something is. What are those colors? And for anyone just joining, I've been put down a ground of the new color amethyst that I just got. It's a Michael Harding color. Really pretty. Um, this looks like the I don't know what that little spot is, but I'm not going to put that in there. That looks a little wonky. Um, I 
just do it in a green and like. this light color. <clears throat> oh, there's the green stem too. Let me put a little bit of that in. I can kind of carve around that. So what's new with everybody? Um, she said, are you doing the whole thing with pigment sticks? Nope. I'm just about finished with pigment sticks. I'm just kind of mapping things out. I'd say I'm finished now. Although I always say it would be fun to do an entire painting with pigment sticks. I've never tried doing that. And now I need to mix my colors. So I need to kind of do like kind of dark purplish black kind of colors. A little bit of teal for the the carton, the lights, and then like just that green stem. It's not a lot of colors. It's pretty monochromatic. It's definitely, <clears throat> I would say, 80 or 90% light and not a lot of darks in there. But let's see how it turns out. It's a little crooked. Let me move this over a little more. <clears throat> okay, that's better. I actually did a little tiny painting this morning. I got into the studio oh, a little early and I've been working on some paintings for Red Raven, which is a gallery I'm with. And at the holidays, they do these little tiny four by four, a whole wall of them. And I was working on some of my four by fours this morning. Okay, so let's make that black. I need a little bit more black, I think. Black out here. So that's what these piles were from what I was painting earlier today. So I had this all cleaned off last night because I knew we were painting this morning. How many people are painting with me? I'm going to add purple in there. My very darkest dark. Maybe I need a little more of that. Um, now I need to go a little lighter. Let me add, oops, my <laughs> phone thing is sitting on my paper towels. Let me grab them. Megan's painting, good. That's very nice. Now wait, let me get a little bit more of that color out here if I can find it. Watching today, not painting, getting daughter ready for college. Yep, we just dropped Isabel off. <clears throat> That's always bittersweet. I miss her. No, we will adjust. But it is hard. Even with the third one, it's still very bittersweet when they go back to school. I wonder if that's close to them. That's, that's great color. I think I need more of that. So much of the painting is, um, put a little bit of liquid in there because my paint's a little bit dry. Did you get to go to the art store? No, actually we, Saturday morning we ran to Target and my husband was actually gonna take me to the art store cause there's a cute little pizza place that he likes right across the street. And we went to head that direction and Isabel looked up, it didn't open till noon and it was like 10 o'clock and we needed to get home cause we were so far behind, I wish. Next time I'm there, maybe we'll have to meet at Dick Blix and shop together. That would be so much fun. Now I need some 
more like I'm gonna put this amethyst in here um, maybe even a little bit of gold or Indian yellow there's a little spot or two in there that has this color in it I like that the pizza yes do they have that same pizza place <clears throat> it is so good we happened upon it by accident the last time and that's where Mike went when I was spending my time at Dick Blick. I think it's just called Blick now, isn't it? <clears throat> yep, that's definitely in there. And maybe I'll just do a little bit of a lighter pink too. Oh, Irma, what color I'm using? I'm using <clears throat> that new, the amethyst I used as my background color and then I'm using this is kind of my regular palette that I always use I think I have a link to this palette um I might in the Instagram in my bio on Instagram can't quite remember but I thought I added one if I didn't remind me and I'll put one in there but it it's a link to all the colors my favorite colors that I use like for my online classes and things I need a little of that turquoise and a green. And I never know the difference between teal and turquoise to this day. Never, never know. <clears throat> Let me put a little gray in there. Me, I need more of that. Let me. Let me just pull a lighter color in there. I meant the first row. Oh, up here, Irma, do you mean this? Oh, this started with black and um, <clears throat> ultramarine <blue> violet. <clears throat> and then I just lightened it. I think I used the, the uh, Video Blue Extra Pale in that. I honestly kind of forget. Most of the time when I mix colors, it's it's mostly about intuition. I always try to write down what colors I use to have like a, <clears throat> what did, I think turquoise leans blue and teal leans green. Yeah, that makes sense. So what am I aiming for here, Carolina? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm leaning for one or the other, right? Let me put a little bit more of my Video Blue Extra Pale. Oh, Irma. All right, that needs to go a little more green. So let me add a little touch of yellow in there. That's pretty, that might be too vibrant though. Let me add a little more of this in there. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty close. Close to what I'm aiming for. <clears throat> That's a very simple palette, right? <clears throat> Allie said, to the Vasari store in PA. No, did you tell me it was open, Allie? Let's make a road trip. I would love to go to that. <clears throat> I don't get up that direction very often, but it's not that far from me. And actually, it's not too far from where my daughter Emily lives now. She lives in Pennsburg, which is oops, I'm too far from Allentown, I don't think. All right, I'll get this just right and then I'll bump it. I hope not there. I think that's good. Oh, just always falls a little bit. All right, let's, let's make a plan. We'll pick a day. I can't do it until October though, but let's make a plan in October to go there. Maybe we could do a kind of thing and <clears throat> all just plan to go, whoever wants to show up and then pick a place nearby that we can meet for lunch. Wouldn't that be fun? Just really on the, off the cuff. Yeah, did you love it, Ellen? <clears throat> That's a good question to start with, right? I have 
to take my time and put down very decisive brush strokes and not get lost in the details. Yeah, I have so much happening between now and then, but I could definitely do it like in October. I do want to let bits of that um, pink show through too. Whoops, I just got put that on the side here. It does sound like a great road trip. Unless Lancaster peeps could ride up together. Ellen, was it worth the trip to go? Of course, I know I'll spend a lot of money. <laughs> I'll find so many new colors that I need. Those are needs, not wants, right? I always say you have to think about if you need it or if you want it. And <laughs> usually, art supplies are a need. I remember now that you went probably hard to resist buying too many colors. Yes, probably. Challenge I am up for. Losing. <laughs> okay. She says, I need to buy the amethyst color. I'm excited to try it. Michaels doesn't carry. The no. <clears throat> you have to get it like from Dick Blick or <clears throat> um, Jerry's Artorama. I can't even remember. It was someone that I was watching on Instagram used that color, and that's what inspired me to get it. <coughs> Alan said it would love that. They only sell paint, nothing else, a small refurbished factory setting. Oh, it sounds like a true field trip. I could even film it for inspiring art, too, so people could um, vicariously shop there with us, see what things they want to buy next. I do love the Vasari paints. They are Fabulous. Now we're at the point, doesn't it? Wouldn't this make neat sheets? I love the part of the painting where it looks like... Um, Would be cool fabric. Yeah, send me your shopping list. Yes. I might have to send me a check too, but you betcha. And this is always the point in the painting too where I think, gosh, this was challenging. Why did I choose to do this live on a Wednesday? But that's what keeps it fun, right? Yep, keeping it safe isn't isn't how you learn. I need to make this a little darker. Hmm. Would have to research to see if any art stores are around. None in the same complex. Yeah, I don't know. I think art stores are awfully hard to find these days. I kind of think when I was in at Kutztown, Dick Blick was the art store that was in Reading. I can't quite remember. I remember the lady who used to come call on us at the first agency I worked for would come from that art store. And... um I was the one who had a car in college, so I would drive all the art major friends to uh, the art store. We'd also have to go to the, there was a photography store near Trexler Town where we would go buy our paper and stuff for photography class. Charette's was the place I went. <clears throat> where is that? Is that in 
Is this an out? Is it in Allentown? Is that what we're talking about? I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Whoops, sorry about that. All right. Did you have any pearl paints in PA? Mm -mm. That was the main one in New York City, but they've closed. Yeah, no, I don't remember pearl paints, Sally. Yeah, isn't it funny that to think that, you know, art stores have had to close when it feels like there's so much art happening? It's such a need for an art store. Like, gosh, when I saw that art store in, in, um, in, <laughs> Pittsburgh. It was like like seeing something amazing on the horizon. It was like, oh my gosh, an art store. Oh, there is a Blick in Allentown. Oh, that would be perfect. the green that's okay now I'm still looking where my other dark areas are there are not a lot my first job in high school was at Aaron Brothers oh is that an art store oh how fun would that be we had a great one in downtown Lancaster too when I was had my first job um it was just called the art store they actually had it in Kutztown also but not when I was there Mark was the owner I don't know what he's doing now I wonder Although I didn't get to buy all the fun paints and stuff because I was in an ad agency. We were buying press type and um, what else did we usually buy from the art store? I guess just illustration board. and Yeah, do you, any of you guys remember Letraset? Like doing press type for mechanicals? I'm sure some people in here must have done that with me. And having to do stats, like do um, photo stats for mock-ups. I hated the stat machine. That was one of my least favorite things to do. And the Pica ruler. Oh, Laura, I still use mine every day. I have it right next to my desk. A pica ruler. Never needed a pica since, but I still love the Haber rule, the one that's flimsy. I love it because you can see through it. Use the press type on ad design classes in college. Yep, I did them at the age, and I wish I had saved some of my press type because that would be really fun. I think I just threw some away when we closed our office. Not very long ago. It's a little dark in here. I'm kind of taking my time a little bit because I have to think where I want my lights and darks to be. Because in reality, these aren't really highlights it was I took this photo it was under cover so it was really in the shade and as always I don't need it to look just like the the photograph Jenna says, I was just wondering if you switched over to 100% painting. Oh, no, not yet. No, I still am doing both. One of these days. Let me get that darker right in here. And these are tricky because some of the darker areas 
are f like usually in something that you're painting, like all the lights are forward and the darks recede, but here it's kind of overall the same color and there's darks that are forward and light, you know what I mean? Like it kind of goes back and forth. Yeah, I do love this brush. I do have a smaller one out here if I need it, but um, let's go with some kind of medium. What do you say with their little price tags from the from shopping? That's fun. Yeah, I still have a lot of my old art supplies. Like when if I use gouache, I pull out my gouache from college. I do have a lot of my old art art supplies. Really do. Um, they don't get old. I don't know why that is. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, they do last forever. That is a good excuse for shop shopping for art supplies. Just be like, well, they last forever, so I need to have them. Okay, now, can I do some lights? Maybe kind of. Let's see how these colors look in here. It's nice, right? Good morning, Danica. Um. Oh, good, Allie. Yes, that's a wonderful color. I love that, too. Oh, I have dark green in here. I'm missing this big kind of smudge of dark right there. trying to keep the personality of everything that's happening in here without um, overworking it. Always tricky. Push that back there a little bit. Um, Dark. I do want to let bits of that pink show through too. I'm not sure where that would work the best. Um, I'm stopping to think for a minute. So where's everybody from? I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Oops. It's a little too green. It doesn't matter. Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. That sounds like fun. How warm is it in Florida? 
Coleman, Alabama, Alberta, dancing around this whole thing. <clears throat> it is hot there. Yeah. Queens, New York, Allie, Ohio. Carmel, Indiana, Signal Mountain, Tennessee, Russia. What time is it in Russia? I'm working on that a little bit because that should be a hard edge right there. So that helped bring that forward. Newport News, Virginia, until sometime in October, you will be a Florida resident. I'll be here in no time. This has a really light line. I might need a smaller brush. Well, I'll do that at the end if I don't forget. All right, maybe I can start to do some lighter colors here. Colburn, Canada. Yes, that is exciting to move. The colors are really fun, aren't they? All right, I think I'm gonna add some lighter colors in now. I think that I like how some of that pink is showing through in that one there. So I want to try to keep that um, happening. Yeah, I love how that looks. That's really fun. Some really light highlight in there. <clears throat> So you want a painting to like look like what you're painting. I do anyway, but I want it to have personality of, you know, kind of going beyond that. So I don't get too precious that it needs to look just like what I'm looking at. Oh, there's just this little... little red right there because I love the pops of color or my me too they're fun colors right and it is kind of hard to you know force myself to let those colors show through in the background like I just want to cover them up kind of 
the look I'm going for. a little dark. I didn't mix up enough of my darker colors. Let me see. We're still okay on time. Hold my breath a little bit. <clears throat> Have a sip of coffee. It's good to step back and take a look to see what's working, what isn't. So yeah, if any of you guys want to be on my newsletter list, I'm going to open up <clears throat> Art and Bloom again. I, I'm aiming for doing it the beginning of September, which is really soon. For any of you who haven't taken it, it's my online oil painting, floral oil painting class. Um, so I have to get everything ready to launch that. But if, if any of you are interested or want to know more about it, be sure to be on my email list because I'll send out some emails about that soon. <clears throat> To get rid of some of that pink in there <clears throat> it's too much pink but there are bits showing I just want to leave just the right amount of pink showing that that it's peeking through but not so much that it's distracting <clears throat> like you always want a color to be kind of not screaming Oh, it's an online class. Art and Bloom is my online class. I'm doing an in-person one in France and maybe another one soon. Um, Carol Ann found a, a cool location <clears throat> that might be a good place to do an in-person class in New York, which would be really fun, wouldn't it? wasn't on my brush very well. Let me get a smaller one to the one in person. Okay, good. Yeah, just be on my email list if you want to know more about any of them. I need just a little of that bright yellow pop down in that one. Out of budget, yeah. I need to work on the France one too. It's going to be so fun. I was, um, I went to um, dinner with a friend of mine who lives in Colorado, and I think she's going to join the France retreat too. It's just, I need to focus on thinking about that a little bit. It's so fun. Thank you, Karen. Um, I think I need a little dark underneath. This. I 
Now I almost feel like I'm starting to overwork it a little bit. Let me soften that. All right, what do we think? No, I need to book my plane. It's a time to do that. I need to do that, Michael. <clears throat> I am um, going on a trip to Italy in a couple of weeks with friends, and I was going to take care of all that when I got back, unless it's important that I do it before that. I never understand all of that, like when you're supposed to book book your airfare. I don't know. I think I might be finished. What do we think? Um, do I need a lightest light? Maybe a little lightest light. I'm missing a little sexiness of that. Yeah, I have no idea. Me neither. I have no idea. And I think everything, all bets are off of how you do anything correctly anymore. I don't think that I had my Italy tickets as far out. <clears throat> Sign it. Karen, I just need one, a couple more little lightest lights, I think. Or else maybe in here. Yeah, I think I need to sign it. <clears throat> now I'm fussing with it and it's not making progress. So let's do this. Sign it. Yeah, it needed that little bit, didn't it? But if I kept doing it, it would be too much. So there's my reference and my painting <clears throat> and my palette. Oops. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I love painting. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> oh, there's a big one that I'm working on right now. Hopefully I'll work on that a little bit today. So thanks for coming. Um, it was great to hang out with all of you. As always, I wish I could see you all in person. <clears throat> if you're not on my newsletter list, um, there's a link in my bio here on Instagram that you can sign up for that. And I think there is actually, I think I put a link in there to um, a sheet of like my favorite art supplies too. Thank you. Yeah, I did get a little nervous that it was too challenging, but it worked out fine. Thanks, Gail. So thanks for coming, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you again next week. Bye. Thank you.